This one is going to be on a program called Metapixel. Uh, basically, is a command line tool to make uh, photo mosaics. Okay, so instead of um, telling you what it is, let me show you what it is here. So uh, my original image is on the left here. You see, this is the original image is clear, and this is the photo mosaic uh, of that image. And you can see that this one is composed of all the tiny little images uh, of existing, you know, images. So if I zoom in on this, you see that there's tiny little images inside it, uh, like a dog, a car, whatever it is. But when you zoom out, uh, you see that a different image, right? Uh, so that is a mosaic, uh, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So close this thing off here now. Uh, but first thing you have to do is actually, uh, you know, you have to have like uh, existing images. So let's say you have like a family albums or whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So I have these wallpapers. The more you have, the better because it uh, gives you, you know, better results of using all these uh, tiny little images. So these are my images here. It's just wallpapers of whatever it is I have here. All right. Now the first thing you have to do is uh, we have to prepare the uh, the images that we want to use. Okay. So I'm going to use the program MetaPixel. And uh, we want it to uh, dash prepare it here. Okay, metapixel dash prepare. So we're not actually making the image yet. We have to prepare uh, the the image that we have. So dash prepare, and then we do dash r for recursive. And we want to use our source folder. Uh, where is our source folder? Depends on where you keep yours, but mine is in the, the pictures wallpapers here. Okay, this is uh, the ones that I'm going to use as our source. So I'm going to go pictures slash wallpapers and uh, where do you want it to go to like our destination folder. I already made one uh, already so I'm, I put it in my um, pictures slash working folder. Okay. And then the next part here is uh, to type in um, you know the width and height. So dash dash width equals um, whatever width you want um, 48 is uh, usually the standard so dash dash height equals 48 and then you run this command and uh, basically what it's going to do is uh, take your existing images and make it smaller into a tiny pixel uh, I don't want to run the command because it's going to take a while because I have like 800 images but let me show you what it looks like here so this is in my wallpaper fo um, folder here and these are the big images, right? After you do that command, it's gonna it look like like this, but it's a tiny little pixel. You see that? So that's basically what the command does. It prepares it and it puts it into our working folder. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Run that command, and uh, you have your images. So cancel that. Now the next step is actually making the mosaic itself. Okay. So what we're gonna do is um, use the uh, metapixel again, and now you have to type in dash dash metapixel, and uh, we want to use the library that we just created. You know the tiny little uh, images that we we uh, prepared. So dash l for library, and wherever the folder is, um, like I said, my folder is in this one called the working folder where all the tiny little images are at so I'm going to use that folder because that's my library uh, so I'm going to type in that location and it's in our working folder All right. and the next step here is type in dash s uh, for how um, how big the image that you want it to be okay uh, so we tell it scale it to ten times bigger than the original one, okay. And then the next part is to whatever image do you want to uh, to make a mosaic of. So now you choose what image do you want to use. Um, so I'm gonna use that image that I showed you earlier. So this is the image that we're gonna use to make the mosaic, okay. And all you gotta do now is just the easiest way is to drag it in here and say I want to use that image. Uh, and then we want to uh, have an output name, so we're gonna call this um, what's the name? Oh yeah, second Hokage. 
this is my Hokage picture. So PNG, and that's it. That's our final uh, output. Okay. Now if I run it, it's gonna take a, a bit. Now this image is gonna be like uh, bigger. Okay, so because it's, it's uh, you know scale it to 10 times so it probably come out like to be like uh, I don't know 20 or 30 megabytes but let me show you here our final product uh, it's called second Hokage so this is our image that we just created okay and uh, we open it there you go that's our image and uh, just like the, the one I showed you earlier right uh, so that's it and you see it's big See that 24 megabytes here. Our original was like probably like 30, or I mean 300 KB or something like that. But that's how you would do that one. Now they do have some other options. Um, let me clear this. Oopsie, clear. If I can spell it right, clear. Um, let me see here. What the hell is that? If you want to do like uh, other options in here, they have like this thing called distance, and basically what this will do is, um, you know, use your images, but it will not put the same images next to each other. Uh, it was just separated by distance, and there's some other ones that you want to play with. Uh, you can go in here and look it out, but uh, basically that's how you would create a uh, mosaic there. So that's it for this uh, program.